हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी लाइव एन टी यूजीसी नेट आई होप ऑडियो वीडियो एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर फ्रॉम माय एंड सो गई फ्रॉम टुडे न्यू सीरीज इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दैट यू कैन जस्ट सी यूजीसी नेट पेपर वन ब्रेक थ्रू रिविजन मैराथन सीरीज फॉर द यूनिट वाइज रिविजन इज गोइंग टू बी देर सो दिस विल बी हैपनिंग एवरी मंडे ट्यूजडे Friday at a 9 p.m. in this YouTube channel, An Academy Live NTA UGC Net. So you can subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you will be getting all the updates whenever I come live in this channel. Right? So every Tuesday, sir, sorry, Monday wrongly written. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, not Monday. So myself, Vardhanala Shivlingam, a qualified Nagar Fin Commerce. I'm a verified, dedicated, and academy platform for teaching to the paper one and paper two. You can follow me in the Academy Learning app. The link is given in the description, and you can also join in my Telegram group, An Academy Space Vardhanala Shivlingam. You can search this name in the Telegram so that you can get all the updates. At An Academy free platform, uh, I am teaching for the UGC Net paper one daily at a 5 p.m. So at a 5 p.m. revision lab, last stage revision for the each of the topic is going on. You can join into an academy free platform at a daily 5 p.m. and use the invite code Shiva Live whenever you wanted to unlock the free classes. Use Neta JR of 2022. Unbeatable courses on previous year questions for the both paper one and paper two is going on. So paper two commerce on daily 8 a.m. and paper one daily at a 7 p.m. Paper one all the 25 shifts of 2021. Question papers with a detailed discussion on a topic wise, I am doing in An Academy Plus. So you can join into An Academy Plus. Use the invite code Shiva Live to get 10% off on the subscription. For the August people, nine uh, July people do not join because you will have you will, you don't have any time. So for the August people, you can join into Plus platform because one month subscription is going on. So get a one month subscription. With uh, use the invite code Shiva Live. If you use this code Shiva Live, you will get 10% off on the subscription. Moreover, within one month you will be having a revision courses. You will be having a PYQ courses, crash courses for the both paper one, paper two will be there. So use the invite code Shiva Live to get 10% off. So now let's start with the. Unit number one, teaching aptitude. Today's session. Shall we start? By this marathon is going to be bit different as compared to previous marathon because this is going to be a quick single liners revision. Single liners, how it is going to be there? I will just tell you within a minute. Once I start with the session, then you will get to know about all the things. Easily, these single liners are the best source of revising many important, uh, many important concepts. Those are previous year questions were there. Previous year questions, those previous year question answers were converted into single liner statement, which will be easy for us to learn many things, right? So let us start with the teaching aptitude today. Tomorrow research aptitude. Friday communication like that. One by one unit will be completing for the revision. Let's start by. I hope you are able to see the pointers one one by point. Clearly visible. First, a single liner number one. If you like the session, please do hit a like button. Let's start with a session. In the understanding level of the teaching, the learner gets an opportunity to discriminate at length between the positive and negative, and not only positive and negative. in the understanding level try to differentiate between the positive and negative concepts relationship as well as examples and non examples by using examples you will understand more in depth and without examples also something you can understand because something's not possible to give the examples so the positive and negative relationship and uh, examples and non example things are comes under the understanding level and during the teaching teacher statement that Encourages the student to elaborate. So when the students are asking some doubts, if the teacher is asking a cross question and elaborating the answer by themselves, or uh, giving opportunity to the student to think by himself, 
is called as an probing is called as an probing this is a repetitive pyq of 2020 as well as 2021 both both the years screen is very clear please increase your resolution increase your resolution you have to increase your resolution and the following will be called as an behavioral rather than the attitude and beliefs related to competencies for becoming an effective teacher so what are the following communicating managing monitoring evaluating and providing a feedback these all are related to teaching activity when something are related to teaching activity they are comes under the behavioral and if it is attitude and behavior these are personal abilities or personal personal things because teaching related things are comes under the behavior when you are executing a teaching activity those are communication you need to do managing the classroom controlling the classroom monitoring the classroom evaluating the student providing a feedback all these are behavioral aspect of a teaching whereas attitude and belief of a one's own personal capabilities of a teacher right next fourth one is that learner centered methods of a teaching used in the institutions of higher learning are computer aided instruction and simulation and the role playing so learner centered are computer aided instruction simulation role playing laboratory demonstration all these are learner center where learner will be having active role teacher will be a facilitative role that is what a learner method of a teaching and there are four types of evaluation that we know very well formative evaluation it is the during the instruction interaction using it is to identify the scope and potential improvement is going to be there during the instruction to rectify the mistake to improvise the learning process to improve the performance of a student not only to the student it is useful with the feedback of formative evaluation teaching methods also can be changed to improvise the teaching methodology for the teacher summative sum 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 of all put together at the end summative means at the end intention is to judge the learning standards are summating everything combining everything and giving a certification to the learner that is what a summative evaluation and after that criteria criteria reference norm referenced are systems of evaluation crt means comparison with a comparison criteria reference is a comparison with the standards or comparison with a criteria like a 35 percentage and uh, meeting the cutoff all these are criteria whereas norm reference is comparison with a group when you are comparing an individual performance with a group performance assigning them a ranking or a percentile that is a norm reference testing and your standards indicative master in the criteria whether they are meeting with the standards or not comes under the criteria reference testing right last line not visible i am telling now by even if it is not visible you can just see norm reference percentile rank and standard scores are used for for reporting next Six, uh, sixth single liner the tl method the tl method means teaching and learning teaching and learning method of a teaching teaching and learning teaching and learning are integratedly related uh, related acts like uh, teaching will happen because learning has to undertake teaching activity aim is to learn but learning can happen without teaching teaching cannot happen without learning that's what the interdependency are integrally related acts learner characteristics those associated with the field dependent field independent just now in the plus session we completed three questions related to this point this is of even 2020 question 2021 also they are keep on asking the same question right so the same question is that field independent learners field dependent learners field independent they are asking over here field independent means they are not taking any other person support neither a teacher support nor the friend support nor the group support no support is required for them for them they are independent they are the self learners they will arrange everything they will get the material they will create the material they will uh, understand everything that's what the self uh, uh, learning process which is a field independent so that is focusing on facts and principles 
they'll prefer and likes to compete with others not cooperation because these are independent learners they will not cooperate they will compete with others they can organize the information by himself or herself they will not look for others to support and get the information right so let us take for the paper one by commerce though not possible because commerce are very complicated to make the single liners style related competencies of an effective teacher every teacher will have a proper style to execute so the style of the way we teach the style we uh, the style of teaching for every teacher will be there the style competencies are organized demonstration which means being orderly clear and in control flexibility which means to being sensitive and lenient in the classroom tolerant having patience as well as being sensitive towards the learners because learners are every kind of learner will be there not only one uh, set of emotional characteristics different different emotional stability learners will be there in the classroom you must be in a position to manage according to the requirement of the learner and control the classroom as well as you must be clear in executing the content and presentation right so kindly hit a like button to match with the number of learners in this one ninth use of ict information and communication technology is justified during the teaching with a view to optimize the learning outcome whether information communication technology or teaching support system or as electronic gadgets like a smart board or any gadgets that you are using all these are aiming at to increase the learning outcome of a learner only and learning outcomes are not contingent on the use of ict during the teaching what not contingent <coughs> learners outcomes are not contingent on the use of ict during the thing not contingent means may or may not depending on the teaching so ict always because of the ict only outcome will not be there ict will enhance the understanding will improvise the understanding but without ict can we perform well yes we can but better understanding will happen with the use of ict that is why it is not contingent Ah, it is not a substitute. Perfect, perfect, Shalin. It is not a substitute. ICT is not a substitute for uh, learning or teaching. ICT will act as a supporting system, not the substitute system. <clears throat> Next, tenth one. In the spectrum of teaching methods, tutorials as well as group discussions are considered to be dialogic. One more point I just wanted to add in the recent just now completed plus session. Tutorials and group discussion. case studies also dialogic case studies also dialogic i just wanted to add one more point case studies also dialogic dialogic method of a teaching means what discussion mode teacher and student will discuss student student will discuss a group discussion with that with the learning process will increase that is case studies tutorials group discussion all these are dialogic method of a teaching right dialogic method of a teaching <clears throat> yes interpersonal teach interpersonal method of a teaching that is what a dialogic next the factors contributing to school learning are termed as an social competencies social competencies means interacting with others with others the competencies the capability of dealing with others is called as an social competencies those are motivation social skills and family support so these are the motivation level extrinsic motivation or intrinsic motivation social skills means the way you interact with others family support these are the three uh, factors which are called as an social competencies next teaching differs from the training conditioning in so far as it promotes a critical thinking by teaching training conditioning three are the different teaching continuums in the teaching continuum teaching is executing a theoretical knowledge explaining a theoretical knowledge training is giving them how to bring or how to give your best the trainer best in someone's like how you are training how you are going to give the training to someone the trainer should have a best ability to execute then the learner will learn the training and he will get also his best that is what a training conditioning means changing a behavior of a person changing a regular behavior of a person in other way is called as an conditioning so this teaching is different from this training and conditioning 
and training will promote the critical thinking as well as conditioning also will be different way right next <clears throat> kindly hit a like button guys make it equal next 13 the these features are the these are the features by key behaviors which contributes to the effectiveness what are the key behaviors given by the gary d borich we know very well that is lites lights lesson clarity instructional variety teaching uh, as well as engagement and success rate you can see lesson clarity which implies making ideas clear to the learner teacher task orientation with a focus on outcome yes teacher task orientation t stands for that only engagement e engagement in the learning process e stands for instructional variety e stands for instructional variety variety methods will be used by the teacher and uh, D, e stands for that is s stands for student success rate student success rate that's about it right lites next fourth one in teacher centric communication students tend to become passive tend to become passive opposite to this statement in student centric communication teacher tend to become passive and in teacher centric communication uh, students tend to become passive whereas teacher tend to become active in the learner centric uh, communication students tend to become active teacher tend to become passive ulta relationship between the teacher and the learner in case of learner and teacher centered communication all right next 15th one features which can which can relate to an approach to teaching and learning in a indirect strategies there are two ways of strategies which are field dependent field independent in the same way direct way and indirect way of strategies those are indirect matlab teacher role is very less less teacher role and they are self self study persons are self study self reliant person they learn by everything by themselves they will take only help so here in this indirect method engagement is an engagement in the inquiry process the learner will engage by himself learner will engage by himself concept based content presentation they will go with the concept not with a just a memorization of the thing concept is a base for this type of learners encouraging a student to use the references from their own experience from their own experience because being a student your experience some other student experience will be different so my experience is teaching me in some other way your experience is teaching in other way so that is what from the experience learning is an indirect strategy of a teaching self learner right next is that the process type and the content type the process type of question two types of question will be there process type open ended and closed ended will be there na process type of questions are divergent questions concept based question higher order question and these are descriptive type of question descriptive type which doesn't have a specific answer open ended questions open ended questions which doesn't have a objective type it is subjective in nature it is subjective type in nature subjective type of exam that is a upsc when you are writing in a descriptive type in this situation what will you do so that type of questions are process questions elaborating your thought process whatever you are thinking you need to put it on the paper that's what a subjective type open ended more of descriptive in nature divergent concept based rather than the uh, objective in nature whereas ulta to this one is uh, another type opposite type of questions are uh, convergent question which are specific answers will be available closed ended options objective type of testing content based rather than the concept and uh, low level questions will be there in the objective like a ugc net exam four option will be there out of the four option you need to choose that is of objective type of testing closed ended type of questions that will be comes under there right 
नेक्स्ट सिस्टम्स ऑफ एजुकेशन विच आर प्लेस स्पेसिफिक टाइम स्पेसिफिक पर्सन स्पेसिफिक आर सेट टू बी फॉर्मल एंड क्रिएटेड बाय लेडाउन लॉ प्रोसीजर्स वॉट इज सिस्टम्स ऑफ एजुकेशन सिस्टम्स आर नथिंग बट यू कैन से द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन विच दे आर फॉलोइंग द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन विच दे आर फॉलोइंग यूजली सो यर द सिस्टम्स ऑफ एजुकेशन विल बी अ प्लेस टाइम पर्सन स्पेसिफिक this system when we say when there are rules and regulations are there they are formal in nature and they are created by the law they are created by the proper procedure with that only it will happen that is what a systems of education usually the best example is a formal education system formal education system as well as non formal education system both both are comes under the systems only because distance learning as well as normal academic learning both are created by the law both are created by a proper process and both are in the structurized way time and place specific and person specific will be there every individual right next one by yes you are right you are right good this phrase is indicating what everything in a positive way or not y yes you are wrong you are bad that means that is a negative phrase this is a positive when the teacher is saying yes you are good please go ahead with the same type of learning process and improvising your performance that is a for positive feedback if something negative phrase you are using that is a negative feedback obviously please do hit a like button and do not forget to share it with your friends 19th in the cognitive domain of a teaching and learning objectives following are categorized as an higher order of learning outcomes they are analysis synthesis evaluation we know very well that is cognitive domain blooms blooms taxonomy the tricks are there na k c double a s c in this analysis synthesis this evaluation are higher order lower order is k c a knowledge comprehension application these are lower order they are asking about analysis synthesis evaluation is an higher order of type of learning lower order type is knowledge comprehension and analysis this is asked in the 2020 in the 2021 lower order they ask knowledge comprehension application just now we solved in the ex, uh, plus session right next is that maximum performance test maximum performance test what is this maximum performance these are designed to assess the upper limit what maximum a person can do what maximum a person can do that is what a maximum performance test the examiner's knowledge and the reality typical response test are this is maximum performance test is nothing but what a person to the maximum extent he can perform what is his capability in doing as such that is what a maximum performance test whereas typical response test are it is to measure a specific this is a keyword typical response test to measure a specific behavior and characteristics of the examiner specific exact in a particular situation how the candidate will behave that's what is going to be measured in a typical response if the girl is giving a situation to a boy how the boy is going to react that is a typical response test on how the response of other person is going to be there next behavioral teaching competencies behavior teaching competencies i already told you there are two types of teaching competencies one is behavioral second one is personal personal so when something related to the teaching activity in executing a teaching activity that is behavioral when something is referring to the teacher personality teacher one's own capability as a person own capability that is personal qualities so here behavioral teaching competencies are teaching activity related instructing using the methods uh, methods and activities by the teacher to promote the learning what type of methods you are using and communicating how you are communicating the communication skills of a teacher or in the teaching process whether verbal communication or non verbal communication managing optimizing on task and minimizing off task increase the teaching activities 
reduce the non teaching activities that is what on task and off task reduce the off task matlab non teaching activities increase the on task means which are teaching activities next monitoring watching groups and behaviors and pace etc and reacting quickly monitoring means observing the things observing how you are controlling how you are managing the entire classroom what the students are doing who is sleeping who is not sleeping who is listening effectively those are all comes under here so how it is as of now after 20 single liners <clears throat> चलो लेट एस मूव अहेड टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट पार्ट एवेल्युएशन इज सेट टू बी फॉर्मेटिव वेन इंटेंशन इज टू आइडेंटिफाई स्कोप एंड पोटेंशियल इंप्रूवमेंट दिस आर द की वर्ड इंप्रूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द मास्टरी ओवर द कंटेंट लिजन टू दिस वर्ड दिस इज अ कंफ्यूजिंग फ्रेज मास्टरी ओवर द कंटेंट इज फॉर्मेशन सर्टिफाइंग द लर्नर giving a grade to the learner those are summative mastery over the content is an formative content will come by the process of improvement slowly 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 improvising you will become expert that's what a formative learning system and the form of uh, evaluation is informal in nature yes by formative evaluation conducted by the teachers in a different teachers in a different way there is no set of rules and procedure to be followed for the formative every teacher is having a unique way of testing the students in the classroom or outside the classroom by conducting a unit test slip test oral test written test it could be anything and here yeah, this is a informal that is why it is changing as per the teacher to teacher informal in nature formative and it take place during the instruction or during the teaching only this formative will happen just now solve questions also having the same same type of repetitive concepts by just now in the 2020 also whatever the points now i am discussing in 2020 also many points have been repeated many points have been repeated if your students are identified as an unable but willing capability is not there for the student but uh, wanted to achieve something that motivation and willingness is there what we have to do in their performance readiness level small step presentation with error free task frequent reinforcement method we need to improvise their willingness we need to improvise their motivational levels by the frequent reinforcement like a positive reinforcement by appreciating them as well as small small step by step by presentation if we can allot them they will do that presentation slowly slowly develop their ability of executing the things that's how the unable will become able willingness will be supporting that ability achieving the success will be easy next list of competencies of a teaching are related to personality now the point came till now i was keep on repeating about the behavioral and personal qualities now the personality and attitude includes locus of control self efficacy what is this locus of control means how much is person inside ability person one's own ability being a teacher teacher person ability it is locus of concentration and efficiency of a teacher what concentration you are having when you are teaching and efficiency of a teacher this both are personal capability of a teacher not the behavioral competencies these are personal competencies not the behavioral competencies 25 assessment and test interpretation methods assessment and test interpretation methods formative summative norm and criteria do you want me to repeat this one again the same point when identifying a scope and potential improvement that is a formative which is internal sorry informal in nature and summative is an form of the judgment of the entire learning process which is grading the learner certifying the learner is an summative norm reference is comparison of a one student performing with a group of students then identifying a percentiles ranking that is norm referenced and criteria reference is comparison with a previous sorry comparison with the standards 
or the proficiency levels, regulations, all those are criteria reference at testing CRT. We already understood. Next, ICT based, that is information and communication technology based, information and communication technology based. You can just see teaching support system, teaching support system, whether it is ICT based or ICT related gadgets or any of the meaningful uh, tools which are called as in teaching aids that you are using. All are comes under the teaching support system only. Not only ICT related, which are non-ICT also, any meaningful teaching aids. All are comes under the teaching supporting system. Every tool is aiming at to increase the learning outcome of the student only. Every tool, any meaningful tool, any meaningful tool will be aiming at to increase the learning outcome of students. Recent research have reported that factors relating to social competencies contribute more to the learning than cognitive intelligence. This is actually a 27 point it must be. So, the research reports are showing that social competencies means capability of a learner interacting with others, capability of learner understanding the surroundings, capability of a learner how you are maintaining a relationship with a friends or the family members or with your teacher. All these are social competencies. So, those are contributing more to the learning than cognitive intelligence of a person as per the research. One's own intelligence of a person, how well you are maintaining outside relationships, how well you are interacting with the entire society, that is increasing more learning outcome rather than one's own cognitive ability of a person. That's what 27th point. And here, yeah, this is, you can say 28th. In reflective level of teaching, optimum scope per cognitive interchange, reflective high level thought process, reflective cognitive, reflective problem solving, reflective it is no uh, self study type of thing. Those are comes under the in the Bloom's taxonomy analysis and synthesis stage finally and it could be evaluation also analysis and synthesis higher order level of a thinking or a cognitive level of a thinking right. Acha, you want me to change the pen now? Which one will be good? Red color is already there on the slide, now that's why. Okay, let us take the blue color. Chalo, do hit a like button, show your support so that I can complete the things all the subjects in the same way. Constructivist theory of a learning which is given by Vyogaskai, Lev Vyogaskai given this constructivism theory. It will provide a support for active participation of a learner in the learning process in an interaction setting with an intrinsic motivation. Keyword is that intrinsic motivation as the basis. So, constructivist theory is two types. One is more knowledgeable than others. Second one is that the Maslow's hierarchy theory. This both are comes under the constructivist theory only. Even gene, the ZPD is also zone of proximal development. That the participation of learner in the learning process will be coming by the internal motivation not being supported or motivated by external things. It will be internal only will be there. Right. And uh, while reporting the result of an assessment of a college teacher, assessment of a college teacher, sorry, result of assessment, a college teacher makes use of the percentile rank in place of the scores, then that is norm reference. Obviously, percentile is nothing but a norm reference at testing. This is very well known percentile. Whereas percentage is related to percentage, percentage is a criteria again, percentage is a criteria. And percentile is a norm referenced. Programmed instructional material. Programmed means a step by step. Step by step is called as a programmed. Right. Step by step uses active responding and immediate feedback as important principles for learning. So, 
active responding and immediate responses as a feedback step by step it is like it it will work like a algorithm give the input you will get to know whether correct or not if it is correct move for the next step give the input correct or not you will get to know correct or not if it is wrong go back and perform the same step like that step by step learning process is called as a programmed instructional material uh, instructional material feedback will be immediate with the feedback you are performing again and improvising skinner's reinforcement principle as a basis for the preparation of linear types linear type means one way type of a instruction this is skinner reinforcement principle which is a types of a programmed instructional material linear programmed instructional material is by skinner wait i will tell you linear programmed instructional material by b f skinner whereas branching model of the branching programmed instructional material by norman crowder right skinner skinner is given what linear and branching model given by norman crowder norman crowder right characterization and organization this c as well as organization characterization and organization this both are comes under both are comes under the educational objectives considered to be of higher level so higher level of the effective domain effective domain we know very well r square voc responding uh i forgot by r square what second r please uh, spell out in the chat box this is valuing organizing characterizing organizing characterizing are the higher levels last two last two organizing and characterizing r square voc r square voc are the effective domain r square voc is an effective domain first one is responding ah uh, receiving and responding sorry i forgot giving large number of positive and negative examples started with this single line point only i already told the between the examples to non examples creating a relationship between the positive and negative things conceptual understanding all these are related to understanding level of a teaching only second level which is given by whom morrison given by morrison right new media learning is no longer as assembly of the facts now new media is not just presenting the fact that is a digital media social media facts will be there beyond the facts analysis will be there beyond the facts interpretation is going to be there beyond the facts some summary uh, conclusions are going to be given to the audience that is what a new media which is a digital media now we are seeing new media includes a the transformation of a news channels transformation of a print media how they are interpreting their analysis the experts are presenting their point of view all are comes under the new media right memory level of a teaching includes structuring guiding closely supervising the students behavior predominate plus memory level means here the teacher used to be there in the childhood lkg ukg he will structurally tell the a for apple b for ball whether students are writing on the slate or not guiding and closely supervising very keenly what the each timid kid is doing so very keenly observing the behaviors of the students in the memory level close supervision will be there in the memory level of a learning in the beginning days next the ability can do the ability can do component for describing the competency of a teacher by can do competency of a not learner look at the word teacher competency teacher competency teacher 
I can do it. That type of attitude when with a knowledge of the subject being taught, he can do, he can develop that can do attitude with a knowledge that he is having. This is a personal quality of a teacher. The skill of a communication and experience in handling the learning task related situation. So, if these three things are there, these three competencies are describing the can do type of a teacher. They can do anything when they have subject, when they have communication skills and when they have experience in handling the learning task. Right? So, in this can do attitude, what the problem is that? Uh, so, not the problem. The teachers, some people will have a knowledge, they do not have a communication skills. They have a great communication skills, but some people will not be having a subject. So, both are interdependent on each other, then only will become a good teacher. Otherwise, the teacher competency will not be there. Next, 36, when a reflective level, high thoughtful process and uh, learning are successful, student emerge with, student emerge with an enlarged store of testing insights. Insight is relating to reflective, highly thoughtful process of a generalized character and it will also emerge with enhanced ability to develop and solve the problem. Solving a problem is also related to reflective level. So, testing the insight, highly thoughtful process, solving a problem is also highly thoughtful process. Both are comes under here, which are related to reflective level of a teaching, which is the third level given by whom? Hunt given this one, Hunter. Right. Next. A model of a teaching is a description of learning environment including a teaching behavior. What is this model? We have a behavioral models like a B.F. Skinner theory is there and just now we have read Norman Crowder theory is there, Pavlov theory is there and social learning Bandura is those uh, different type of Albert Bandura, so uh, Bruner's theory. All these are different Gene Pickett cognitive development theory. All these are different different models are a theories of a teaching. In this each model, what is a funda, main funda, main aim is to learning environment including a teaching behavior. They are trying to describe how the learning is happening. The method of a learning is adopted in that particular situation. That is what each model is trying to describe us in what environment learning is happening, how the learning is happening, in what way it is happening. Right. Next, the view that teaching learning situation may be characterized to fall on a continuum ranging from memory to reflective was given by whom? So, memory level of a teaching, understanding level of a teaching, reflective level of a teaching, these three are given by, these three are classified by whom? Maurice L. Biggie. Maurice L. Biggie classified it. Alright. Maurice L. Biggie classified these three levels. Whereas, each level was given by different, different author. This is given by Herbert, memory level given by Herbert and uh, understanding given by Morrison and reflective given by Hunt. So, these are the three different author given each level, but these th three classification done by Morris L. Biggie. All right, administrative and teacher academic reforms committee. This is what a, uh, the committee name is what? Gnanam committee, Professor Gnanam committee. Professor Gnanam Committee recommended the CBCS system in higher education, choice based credit system, administrative and academic reforms committee of the UGC. They have formed, they have only recommended choice based credit system. Now, presently, we are following a semester system in the UG and PG, not only semester system, elective options, various things are there. This CBCS implemented by DU, Delhi University, first uh, in India in 2015, correct. Right? A teacher in a particular college assigns a percentile, mm, ranks to indicate his or her students' performance in the unit test conducted. This is called as a norm reference, whether whatever the test that he conducted, he is assigning a percentile, which is a ranking. That's what norm referenced is going to be there. And supporting materials, support materials in learning, uh, learning use the procedures of programmed instructional technology based on the Skinner and Crowder principle. Skinner is a linear programming material, Crowder is a branching model of the program based material. 
So step by step instruction in the branching model and linear model both will be there. These are the two type of supporting material based type uh, based program uh, instruction methodologies. All right. Next. Features of understanding level. Understanding level already we have learnt uh, in the last uh, first point also and here also. It is basically devoted to helping the students of seeing the relationships between positive and negative and various tools of use of facts and conceptualization is also keyword. Conceptualization of various ideas. Conceptualization of various ideas. Various ideas and facts. All these are comes under the understanding level of a teaching. Next, the assessment procedures conducted during, during, in progress, teaching learning session. That's what a format. We know very well. We are expert in it. Right. During, in progress, while executing the instruction, all those are formal, assess sorry, formative assessment. And this formative assessment provides a support to enhancing the quality teaching, quality teaching learning sessions quality teaching learning session because the more you improvise the learner, the more you conduct the various tests that will improvise the learning process over here. So, this is like gaining everyday learning points and improvising their performance which will increase the quality of a teaching, quality of a learning both because teacher can also change the method by using the feedback of the formative. The use of the ICT in organizing the teaching learning programs in the university side, the potential to again same point by this point is repeating from the 2004 onwards. Same point, same point from that time, but the way of statements are getting changed. But the same point is keep on asking by them continuously. Same point teaching strategies which are learner centered, teaching strategies which are learner centered are cooperative learning, lab based projects, pair share discussion. These are the three things. Right, cooperative learning, lab based projects, pair share discussion are comes under the learner centered. What is cooperative? In a group, we will work, but individual, individual goal will be there. Group only will work, but individual goal will be there. That is what a cooperative. We will cooperate each other, but our individual agenda is different. And lab based projects, which are Practicals done by the students, practicals by the students. Once a teacher shown with a demonstrative method, he will execute how to perform this HTO operation in chemistry. So later, that is a demonstration method performed by the teacher. After that, laboratory method will be taken up by the students. Students will execute the same which is told by the teacher. Right? Right. Next, a pair share discussion is an Forming like a teams, combined studies will be there, na? combined studies, wala, this only. In the name of combined studies, pair share discussion will do the time pass. Like forming a WhatsApp group for a pair share discussion, what? Forming a WhatsApp group, we will learn from today, we will we'll discuss about the only doubt solving and all. But except a doubt, everything will be discussed in that. That is what a pair share discussion. Pairing, the, pairing with the people and discussing. Reflective level of a teaching is different from memory level. Yes. RLT is different from memory level because pattern of communication involved is in reflective is basically transactional. Transactional means here debate type. Transaction is a highly uh, discussion type. Highly problem oriented, conclusion oriented more of interpretation oriented, analysis oriented, that is what a transactional communication. Two-way communication, what of what discussion is going on. Next, features associated with the indirect instruction. Again, same indirect instruction you can just see. Focus on concept acquisition through question and answer. Indirect, by question and answer session without, teacher can ask a question, student will answer, that is a uh, student based only. And problem solving presentation, problem based presentation. We give the problem to the student. Student has to come up with a solution for that problem, which is indirect. And participatory and collaborative moves are stressed. Participatory means involving in the learning process by themselves, learner by themselves. Collaborative means cooperative is a group 
within a group we will work but for an individual goal here group goal will be there we will work in a group and we will we wanted to achieve the group goal only not the individual that is what a collaborative collaborating together to achieve some common goal next an open classroom environment yes an open classroom environment marked by sharing and caring by the teachers and student in their interchange will be most helpful in the reflective level open classroom environment this could be an transactional open means it will be open to discuss or debate the things which are problematic or which are high end process and where the analysis and interpretation or the discussion will happen more and it is sharing and caring by the teachers student in their interchange will happen that is a transactional is going to happen in the reflective level of teaching only again right so the correct hierarchical sequence type of learning according to the gagne we know gagne nine levels of learning eight conditions also given but out of that are they asking a conditions or levels here these are conditions sign learning discrimination learning concept learning rule learning problem solving these are the related to gagne nine levels out of the nine five are given over here remaining also there remaining also there over here the intellectual characteristics in a teacher need nurturing in order to accomplish the subjective well being leading to effectiveness in motivating and inspiring the students of college level education emotional intelligence related factors so they stated intellectual characteristics in a teacher in order to accomplish the subjective well being leading to effectiveness in motivating inspiring the students of college level so inspiring motivation all these are emotional things related well being motivating inspiring all these words are emotional related next instructional technology is a network of techniques pressed into service for realizing the instructional objective instructional technology is a network of techniques pressed into service for realizing the instructional objectives i will tell you you are using the ICT tool or the gadgets of ICT or tools of ICT to give the instruction or to provide a proper service to the students. Service for realizing the instructional objective means learning objectives. Instructional objectives are nothing but a learning objectives only. What the student wanted to learn. Taking help of network or the technology and teaching them. Wait for a चलो भाई हंड्रेड कर दो लाइक्स इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक ए सचिन नाइनटी नाइन डकआउट आई मे नॉट बी ए सचिन बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी नाइनटी नाइन लेट एस मेक इट एस हंड्रेड वी हैव टू कंप्लीट ऑल द वन लाइन यस यस द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन द क्लासरूम टीचिंग बिहेवियर एज गिवन बिलो विल बी क्लासिफाइड एज पार्ट ऑफ द फॉर्मेटिव teacher ask the question to elicit the classification from the students teacher ask the question to elicit this is a formative assessment means asking a question and getting the response if they are answering done if they are not answering they'll get to know the correct answer teacher prompts and probes the students to while making presentation they are teacher is giving a opportunity to the student to think by himself and get the elaborative answer that is what a probing activity which is a helpful behavior and the teacher pauses for a few seconds looks at the student and ask a question when he is pausing students are almost they will say the answer when the teacher is given a pause na automatically students will say that that is what 
formative evaluation. So these three are comes under the formative assessment process only. <coughs> right? And key behaviors contributing to effective teaching includes lights. Already I told lesson clarity, instructional variety and uh, teaching activity as well as engagement in the learning process, student success rate. Right? These are the five key behaviors. In the learning, influence is mainly one way. Influence is mainly in one way. Why influence is one way? Learning will be, learner will be learning, but influence is going, going on only one way. Teacher influencing a student. Student is not influencing a teacher. That is why influence will happen only in one way. Teacher will influence the learner. Learner will not influence the teacher. Communication process is active and interactive. At a very high level in the RLT. Yes. High level is a keyword always. For the reflective. In order to be effective. Teaching and testing must go together. Teaching and testing must go together. And feedback forms essential component of formative assessment. Teach it. Ask a questions. Like give the. Uh, you complete the teaching. Then ask a questions. Whether they understood or not you will get to know. That is why every teacher, are you getting my point? Are you understanding my point? Uh, are, are you clear with this or not? Why these questions will be asked by the teachers? Because they wanted to test whether their learners are with me or they are traveling any other place in the mind. So that's what, when they are getting a proper feedback, obviously that is leaded to formative assessment only. Right, Maslow's hierarchy is related to Higher order learning, Maslow hierarchy is related to higher order learning. Esteem needs and need for self-actualization. Esteem needs and needs for self-actualization. So here we know very well the hierarchy is total five levels, right? Maslow's hierarchy, physiological, physiological, and safety needs, love and belongingness, and uh, self-esteem, which are identity, self-actualization. Actualization. Beyond the self-actualization, there is one more thing. Self-actualization, you will achieve your own moksha. Maximum saturation point for your inner self. Whereas another will be their self-transcendence. Self-transcendence, this is, this is for oneself. Actualization is for oneself. This is for others. Your life is not for you. Your life is to help to others. That's what a self-transcendence, which is self-transcendence highest level beyond the things. Right, done. Maslow hierarchy theory, higher order is esteem and self-actualization. That is what I told. Self-actualization and esteem are higher levels. All right, bye. So, I think time up. We will discuss 58, 59, 60 and 61 tomorrow in the tomorrow session. Tomorrow research aptitude I will start but part 2 I will take it. I will inform in the YouTube before the part uh, teaching aptitude sorry before the research aptitude I will complete this teaching aptitude then I will give the PDF after that only the research aptitude in the evening 9 p.m. will start. All right. That's about from my side today. Any questions? Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. my sessions will happen. Thank you so much. If you like this type of marathon, please do hit a like button. I also teach at an academy free platform. You can join in my telegram group, an academy space Vodnala Shivlingam. This is the name you, you have to type in telegram search box. Daily 5 p.m. in the revision uh, at an academy free platform by installing an academy learning app. You can catch me daily 5 p.m. Revision lab series for the paper one. So tomorrow, 
tomorrow revision lab series i will be completing this remaining part of the teaching aptitude or somewhere i will try to complete this part second part i hope you have enjoyed this session if you have enjoyed kindly refer my classes to your friends and do join in my telegram group and uh, those who are plus subscriber interested in plus subscription you can join in plus subscription to get all the pdf study metal for a one month so in this one month price is that 5100 you will get a 10% off from my side if you use this Shiva live code and you will also get extra 10% discount if you use your referral code. So, if you use your uh, learning credits. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. We will be meeting in the 